polka dot door, the polka dot door. Let's peep through the polka dot door. Songs and stories and so much more. Through the polka dot door, this is the time we always say, get ready, get set for imagination day. We'll tell some tales, we'll pretend and play. So come in the polka dot way. If you're of a certain generation of Canadian, you're very familiar when I say the words polka dot door and its iconic theme song. Even now, when I, hear, when, you, when I say those words, you hear that iconic th song in your head. Well, today on this very special episode of today's podcast, we have the woman behind that very song you're hearing in your head. For the very first time being interviewed about Polka Dot Door, please welcome the Polka Dot voice, Angela Antonelli. Hi, Angela. Hi, Kevin. Thank you for that introduction. Well, it is such an honor to speak with you. And, oh my <laughs> and, and, you know, it's, it's, I, when I hear your voice, I hear the theme song in my head. I really do. And, and as I said, when we were speaking earlier, every single time someone tunes into the show, every single time when they did it as a kid and every single time when they hear that words, hear those words in that order, they hear that song and what they didn't know is that they hear the voice, but they've never put the person behind the voice and now they can because that's you. That's me. The <laughs> so, voice behind the polka dot door. <laughs> that's why I called you the polka dot voice because you're the first person we ever heard with that show and, and it's still there even to this day. Yeah. And actually, you know, that, that happens to be my claim to fame with everything I've done in the musical world, entertaining. Um, when anyone knows about that, oh, they get so excited and their eyes are about like this, you know? <laughs> and, and honestly, they just, they're just thrilled. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I didn't know. I didn't know I meant that, that, that meant so much to them. So I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled about that. So let's let's start off at the very beginning. Tell us, uh, tell your me and tell your fans because you have lots of them out there, believe it or not. <laughs> tell them about yourself. Oh, about myself. Absolutely. Oh, um, you want you want to go way back or how yes. far back? You can go back as go. far as you want. <laughs> this show's all about you. Let's go as yes. far back as you want. Okay. Well, I I came to Toronto at the age of sixteen, actually just turning 17 that, 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 uh, in December of that year when I came to Toronto to study at the Royal Conservatory of Music and uh, with the opera, uh, you know, learning all about my music there with uh, the opera and getting all my credentials, shall we say, the theory, piano and, and the voice lessons and what have you. And uh, yes, and from there I um, you studied with Dr. Vinci. Right? Yes, I studied with Dr. Vinci. Um, uh, he was my teacher there, and, and as I say, I was with the opera school. And um, uh, I went on to do um, operas with the opera company, and I did CBC Opera, um, one of the famous ones. Well, that people might have heard of is Johnny Skeeky. And I did the lead in that opposite John Vickers, um, one of Canadian's greatest tenors. And I'm sure people know that name. And uh, yes, and I um, did a lot of television shows, Hit, hit Parade, Folio. Uh, in those, those are things you wouldn't know about because you're too young. <laughs> but uh, I was part of the years of variety shows in Toronto. So with the opera going on and being involved with television live shows and um, uh, the TV shows and radio and um, and I did uh, the Charlottetown Festival Company. I was with the, the original cast of Anna Green Gables. Um, I have a pretty good background and and um, I 
I can't, well, I'm, I'm getting you did prompted. the Juliet show for seven years. Oh yes, the Juliet Jeez. show. Well, I didn't want, as I say, Kevin wouldn't know about the Juliet show, but I'm sure that maybe, uh, I would say maybe your grandmother, maybe not your mother, but your grandmother, the grandparents, that generation know about Juliet. She was a big star here in Canada and she had her own show. So I was her lead singer on that for six years. And uh, yeah, I, um, as I say, I've, I've done quite a bit and I'm very proud to say that I, I did pretty well in that business. So <laughs> Our, I'm happy. About <laughs> well, you've had a pretty full, you've had a pretty full life. Yes, I have. And so, being married and having three beautiful kids and grandchildren. And now I'm now for the first time a great grandmother. So well, congratulations. Happy. That's awesome. Yes, yes. That Thank is you. Awesome. Actually, it's Lorena's uh, youngest son who's uh, the father of this great grandchild of mine. So we're very happy. That's awesome. So, how did you end up getting the job singing the Polka Dot Door song? Well, you know, I'm not sure how that came about, but I think it's because I was so involved with, I think my name was around a bit, not that I was famous, but, you know, in the business, people hear about other people who are doing things. And I'm not sure how Dodie Roth got my name. I don't, if I knew then, I don't remember now. But anyway, I got the call to uh, come in and uh, would I be interested in, singing the theme for a pilot uh, film uh, that they were going to present to TVO. Um, she, uh, Dodie, Rob, and Pat Patterson are the creators of the show, and I think you're probably aware of that. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so they said, would you come in and sing the theme for us? And um, so they could present this pilot to see if they could get the show. And so I said that. Yes, and of course, there I was in the studio. We had to do, they think we did like five, we, five uh, versions because every day was a different, a different day. That's you right. Know? And so I did like the five days of singing it with the different things that they were going to present that day. And uh, anyway, um, nothing, Nothing more to add to that except that we all know what happened. They, they yeah, stopped yeah. stole that, and uh, and I think I only got like a one a one shot payout because oh, I did I didn't know anything. I mean, I wasn't smart enough to really think about now if you're going to sell this, blah blah blah. blah. No. My head wasn't there at that time, but anyway, it, as you know, it became such a success, and um, and the rest is history. Yeah. Well, basically. Basically. Yeah. Sorry. Hi, I'm the Oh, oh that's not oh. What's on what's on the screen there? Something on the screen there. What does that say? Oh, what is it saying? Um, got it. Okay, there. Sorry, that was about the recording. Hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> not bad. Um, yeah, no, but that that was the whole thing is that she got that one time pay which was probably not even a couple hundred bucks, probably 180 bucks or what? I mean, just crazy, yeah. just crazy. Come on into the studio, Ange, yeah. and record this with us. Actually, it was less than that. I was oh, probably, was it? Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I mean, in later years, we sort of tried to uh, sort of chase that down many years later because after the success of the show, I was like, my goodness. I mean, somebody's got to be getting royalties for this. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Your voice is the stamp. Well, I don't yeah. know whether I don't know whether your daughter told you this, but I had I don't know, did you tell her what we did? I don't think we did. I don't no? think I did. Well, I don't know whether I don't know whether she told you this or not, but I'm gonna tell you this live right now. Okay. Uh -huh. When you when when you look up because I know people look up polka dot door all the time. All the time. Uh -huh. People look at it. It's one of the higher clicked pages on Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. Well, um, it's not much. I wasn't able to do too much, but I've added your name as the as the iconic singing voice behind that song on the Polka Dot Door oh. Wikipedia page. So, so your voice, your name now is associated directly with Polka Dot Door. Yeah. yeah. 
So Fi yeah. finally, if, if you oh, were to finally. go on the Wikipedia page at polka dot on 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 Wikipedia dot com and type in polka dot door, your yeah. name is now there as the as the singer of the theme song with a little bit of bio about yourself there. Your name is oh, now there. Well, thank you, Kevin. I, I couldn't I couldn't <laughs> let that go. I couldn't let it go when when well, she probably didn't tell me because she wanted you to tell me <laughs> when, when Jane told me and when your daughter told me that you didn't get yeah. very much recognition for yeah. that theme song, which you well, should. You know, I kept trying to chase down. I kept calling somebody at TVO and I wanted actor. to find out and trying to an actor and trying to find out how I could, you know, about residuals. Well, they kept, you know. I'll, I'll put you on to so-and-so or I'll put you on to so you know, you get to a point where you just give up, where you right? fluffed off and, you, and so I just kind of gave up. I figured, you know, this isn't going to go anywhere. So that was it. But Did anyway, we're not, not going to hash out that anymore. I'm just pleased that you've done what you've done for me and I'm grateful. Thank you. You're very, very welcome. Did you have any idea how, how iconic that song was going to become? Absolutely not. I mean, I did see, the, you know, I, I knew the program was on and, and it was very popular, but I only became aware of how popular, as I said to you, when people would find out that I was the, the, the singer. And my gosh, they, they, yeah, the, the excitement was, uh, was unreal. And I thought, oh my goodness, I didn't know it was that popular. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, yeah, it's well, uh, you know, the I revelation. As a fan of the show from, yes. I was born in 1981. So the show was on for 10 years before I was born. Mm -hmm. Right. So the show was on for multiple years before I was born. But I remember watching it from when I was just a little kid. And when I ended up having children, both my daughter and my son have watched the show. And, and, you know, I had, my mom was, was, I don't have them anymore, but my mom taped them for me on VHS. Oh my God. Oh so my God. I would, I would, I would watch the same ones over and over again, but it was, it was all there. Yes. You know, well, I and would, then not too many years ago, I mean, they were doing a lot of reruns. Oh and yes. Then, yeah. I don't know when they stopped the reruns. It's been a few years now, but you know, that's when I thought, Oh, there's, you know, I'd say, Oh, they're still running that show. Are they? <laughs> you, you're able to find some of them on YouTube now. Some of them they're on YouTube, uh, not all of them. Yes. They all have your voice on it. All the ones, all the full episodes have your voice on it. Some of them have with the, no credit, with no credit, with no credit. credit, with no credit. <laughs> I know. Unfortunate, I know. but uh, nah, but you know what? I'm very happy that that you agreed to do this, and and now again, uh, your name is now associated permanently with oh. the, with the polka dot door Wikipedia page at least. So whenever someone, you know, gets that nostalgic feeling and looking up polka dot door, your name is now there. Oh, and, uh, that's we're, terrific. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to wind up a little bit here because it's been okay. about 15 minutes, believe it or not. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've got a mouth that doesn't stop. I'm <laughs> that's okay. I absolutely love long answers. And you know what? None of this is going to be edited. I'm not editing a dime of this. So okay. <laughs> this is going to be all raw, exactly how we edited it, right? That's good. Good to so be exactly, natural. Exactly how we record this. So, okay. but but I I think it's time now. I think it's time. Time I to say goodbye. Is I can't to... I, I can't have you on this show without hearing it. <laughs> okay. Even though, even though at the, just one moment, just at the beginning of the show, I normally put the theme song, and I'm still going to do it, but I need to hear it live. So please, for the very first time, please sing this song. Okay. The polka dot door, the polka dot door, let's peek through the polka dot door for songs and stories and so much more. Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -bum, the polka dot door. Awesome. 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 Thank you. Bye, Kevin. Be a good boy. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Bye. very much. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thanks, Kevin. Bye. Tune for season two coming up on today's podcast.